glorified things to carry your things in. <laughs> so this is a bit of a different video for me, but it's just genuinely what I have been super into recently. And that is designer vintage bags. Now I am a big fan of designer handbags. It's kind of like my guilty pleasure. It is one area in my life that I will kind of splurge here or there. Everywhere else, I am pretty frugal with my spending, but I just have a high appreciation for designer handbags. They just do something for me. And recently I've been into vintage handbags, not only because I'm obsessed with a lot of the styles and like baby Morgan is reliving a lot of her fantasies when she was a child in present day, but I also kind of like the thrill of the hunt because believe it or not, I've gotten some really great deals on the bags, which I'll be discussing today. So I'll be sharing with you guys some of the handbags I picked up over the past couple of months. I've accumulated some of these. Now, before I get into the handbags, I do want to remind you guys to like this video, subscribe, and to also follow my Instagram where I'll probably be posting more about my bags, maybe outfits I'll be wearing with these bags. And if I ever decide to sell them, I'll probably sell them on my Instagram in some way, shape, or form. So the first bag, at the that I have been getting probably the most use out of is this vintage Louis Vuitton Noe bag, which is the bucket style bag. And I picked this up from eBay. I got it from a Japanese uh, reseller that they authenticate the bags. And if you're gonna buy designer handbags from, from eBay, usually you'll wanna go with either like the authenticity guarantee type of sellers or kind of look through their history, all that kind of stuff. I don't wanna to get too much into that, so if you guys want another video on where I buy my vintage bags, I can definitely do that. But I got this for a steal because it looked a little banged up when I, when I first got it. Now, I've also been into like kind of refurbishing or restoring vintage handbags, like cleaning them up and refinishing them, kind of working the leather a little bit, although this canvas is pretty durable, but it does have some of the Vachetta leather on Louis Vuitton bags and so it looked a little worse for the wear. I feel like I've done a really good job at like restoring it. Like the bottom of the bag looks a lot better which on this style tends to be where you see a lot of the wear from the bag from like watermarks and things like that. And also um, I cleaned up the brass which is nice about vintage Louis Vuitton is they have actual brass hardware on their pieces. And yeah, so I'll go ahead and throw some before and afters. I think I took some video as well about me cleaning the bag because I just thought I would want to make this video. So enjoy. It's kind of like that oddly satisfying cleaning because the before and afters of this bag I think are very impressive. Okay, so this is my before. I kind of stretched this out a little bit. And as you can see, I think for being over 20 years old, this bag is still in really good shape and obviously the hardware there's definitely some corroded bits that could need a little cleaning the leather is obviously very dry but i'm going to condition that first but all the stitching looks nice yeah oh and then the bottom of the bag which has the most vachetta definitely needs to be cleaned cleaning that I did. Uh, one thing I do really pay attention to, at least I do, I don't know, I'm new to this, so don't take me for like a professional, take everything I say with a grain of salt. I might not even be pronouncing a lot of these <laughs> names properly since they're foreign to me, but the inside of the bag was in really good shape, which I like. It's filled with like all my stuff because I'm currently using it, but I love that the inside was very pristine and yeah, so this is the first bag I picked up, like I said, I've been using this as like my daily bag because it is so big and like since it is like a vintage bag, it's so squishy and lovely and it's just, since it is that like durable Louis Vuitton monogram canvas, I don't have to worry about like scratching it or anything like that. I literally like throw it in my car, I drag it out, I yank it places and this baby has been holding up. So I'm really glad I was able to pick this up from the vintage market and because I pay a little amount for it compared to like a brand new Noe from Louis Vuitton, I don't feel as guilty as like using it as a proper bag because at the end of the day, <laughs> that's what these are. Glorified things to carry your things in. <laughs> 
Now I guess I'm just gonna do Louis Vuitton really quickly because I do have a couple Louis Vuitton purchases. This next one actually wasn't like a steal. I just broke down and made the purchase because I am obsessed with this bag. I've been obsessed with this bag and this style since I was a little girl. And even when I was a little girl, like baby Morgan when she was like eight or nine years old, I used to carry around like fake Louis Vuitton bags because I was that obsessed and obviously I could not afford them. And so now that I'm older and make my own money, I'm like reliving my youth by buying some of the bags that I lusted over when I was a child. And so this is technically vintage. It looks brand new because like I said, I paid a little bit more money because this is one of the styles that I was obsessed with when I was a little girl. So I wanted to buy the authentic version and a nice, you know, I didn't have to do any refurbishing. It came like this, like the Vachetta is like barely tanned. I don't even know if this has really seen the light of day. This is the Louis Vuitton monogram denim speedy neo. I believe that's what the style is called. Can I just say how much I love denim bags? Like I'm so glad they're having a moment and becoming trendy again because part of me, well, let's face it, all of this Y2K goodness that's now in trend, I'm obsessed with. But yeah, this is in really good condition. Like I said, the Vachetta has barely tanned. Like it's a very pretty even color. There's no like watermarking. The handles have barely any like, you know, residue on them. This, the handles are what tend to carry a lot of like the dirt and grime. And then that's what the back of the bag looks like. And then the tabs look great because again, these tend to on, this is actually technically vintage, believe it or not. I think vintage is considered a bag that's like 20 years or 25 years or older. This is, I believe, older than 20 years old. So these tabs tend to get worn out because you grab them a lot. So they get torn a lot. And another thing that I've noticed about the Speedy Neo is that the piping here on the edge of these bags tend to wear out, especially on the denim since they are like a fabric material. So I searched high and low to get one that was intact, that the piping hadn't worn out on the corners, that the denim hadn't been sun bleached. I've noticed that a lot, that the hardware was still in really good condition and that the Vachetta wasn't torn apart or too stained. And so I do have it stuffed currently. You can see that to keep its shape while I'm not using it. But if I am gonna use this, I make sure to have like a purse liner in it or like a purse organizer to hold its shape since I love that like duffel bag shape, if that's what this is called, the like speedy type of shape. And by the way, can I say how much I love the interior of this bag? Cause it's just this pretty mustard yellow that I think complements the blue so much. So that is the second bag I picked up. I picked this up, I believe last month and I've worn it a couple times. It's so amazing, I feel so happy having this. We've got one more Louis that we're gonna be talking about and it is another like bag I listed over when I was a child and I'm sure if you're around my age, you probably will recognize this bag and probably will feel the same way that I do if you're into designer handbags. And it is the Louis Vuitton monogram Murakami pochette in black. This actually in the white was the bag I carried around that was a fake Louis Vuitton bag when I was a little girl. Now, if you're not familiar, Murakami is a designer that had a couple different collaborations with Louis Vuitton. You'll probably also recognize some of the iconic collections. I actually did want the white pochette, the white colorful monogram pochette, but they're a little bit harder to find because they have a red lining and the red lining for some reason tends to bleed onto the white. So you get like this weird like pink discoloration on a lot of them. So finding one in good condition that's a decent deal is a little bit more difficult than the black one. And like I said, for the most part, I do try to get deals on my vintage designer handbags. Number one, because they are pre-loved. And number two, because I have bought a couple brand new straight from the store designer handbags and they just depreciate so quickly and obviously that's not the main reason why I buy them. I just adore the handbags and I buy handbags because I like them. But it's just, you know, if I can buy a bag and wait a year or two and get it for like half off, I'd rather do that and be a little bit more patient. So anyways, I got this for a really, really good deal on The Real Real. I kind of keep my eye out on like those websites like TradeZ or The Real Real or Fashion File. This was a really good deal. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna make the black work. I love the black anyways. And I will say this one is pre-loved. Like the strap is like, I get a little nervous using the strap from this pochette because it is very beat up. The 
Pochetta is obviously very tanned and darkened quite a bit and the actual monogram itself has worn like the color has faded off of it a little bit but overall like the, the actual integrity of the bag is in pretty good shape like the corners are pretty good the zipper works well <laughs> The inside isn't completely torn up if you can see that and I'll be totally honest the pochette for me is not necessarily the most practical bag as say like the Noe because I if you can't tell this bag is probably like 10 pounds I carry a lot of stuff around with me day to day so this is like an occasion bag anyways so I'm okay not getting like a pristine one especially for the price I got it for so anyways so these next two bags I got really really good deals on let's just go ahead and start off with this guy here so this is a Gucci pouch I paid less than $20 for this <laughs> can you believe it now this is a Gucci plus so I was reading a little bit about the history behind the Gucci plus line so it's part of the short-lived separate label Gucci plus these bags were made by Guccio Gucci's grandson, Aldo Paolo Gucci, in the 1980s after he was fired from the company by the family. He won the court case to keep Gucci on his products, but Gucci does not officially recognize this bag under the Gucci label, but they're still a piece of fashion history. So I thought that was really cool. And like I said, I got this for less than 20 bucks, so I could not pass this up. And again, this is kind of like that same material as a lot of the Louis Vuitton monogram pieces so it's a bit more durable you can kind of like wipe it off it's not as like water sensitive as a lot of other fabrics or leathers can be so for a pouch that i will definitely get use out of i think it's really helpful that i can just wipe it clean the zip is in really good condition like it just oh, doesn't that sound so good and the inside actually is in really good shape as well because like i said when the inside is messed up you have to take it to like a cobbler or be willing to <laughs> Like, I don't know if you're really good at sewing, maybe you can sew no lining, but that's just a bit out of my comfort zone. So I feel fine like cleaning the leather, like I'll probably go ahead and clean this piece here. The one thing that I will say about this bag is that the corners are worn on this bag, not too terribly. I, again, I think if I took this to a leather surgeon, if I cared enough, I would just have them take in the corners a tad bit and that would solve the problem. But it doesn't, impact the functionality of the bag itself because they don't even go yeah they don't even go through to the lining i just were like wow i got a good deal less than 20 bucks and i can always use a pouch like this and now like i said i've got a little piece of fashion history last but not least i also got a very very good deal on this bag and it is from dior now this was a little bit of a different bag for me but i actually really like this color because it is kind of in that beige family and I don't have a beige bag and I think beiges are very good transitional color when it goes into like summer to fall or even fall to winter. I feel like it's one of those colors that's good year round and I like the shape of this bag because the cool thing about this is it has this like strap here where if I were to undo it, so it's a bit more of a tote shape like that, which I think that is so cute. And of course, I mean, any bag that has the Dior charms, I feel like is iconic. And this also, it's gonna be really hard for you guys to see there, but another thing that is very iconic about this bag is it has the oblique pattern to it. Now, I believe it's the oblique, it could be the trotte or the trotter, I think it's trotte. But um, I, I'm i pretty sure it's the oblique. I actually don't know the difference between like oblique, oblique and tro trotte. If you do know, please tell me the difference. I tried to look it up and I can't find any information even on the purse, purse forum. So I just wanted a bag that had this. Like I said, I've got a really good deal. I like the color of this. I like that it had the charms. The handles are a little bit worse for the wear, but for the price that I paid for this, I was like, I can be happy, get my use out of it, and I'm not paying thousands and thousands of dollars for a Dior handbag. Maybe one day, but you know, not right now. And the inside, again, is just, it's pristine. It does have a little bit of that like, old smell to it but that's why i've got like a fabric softener sheet in there so i'll probably throw some more in there that was my last handbag that i got so anyways guys i hope you enjoy me sharing my vintage designer handbag haul i got really good deals on all of these except my <laughs> speedy neo denim bag from louis vuitton but that was like i had to have it so let me know if you guys like these types of videos. This is just what I'm currently really into. I'm really into like watching the refurbish or restoring videos on YouTube, the ASMR ones. 
I'm fascinated by the whole thing and I have just fallen back in love with a lot of the bags that I used to see growing up and now I could buy them in their vintage so there's that anyways as always I hope you guys are happy and healthy and don't forget to rate comment subscribe share with your friends and family hit that notification bell and I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys Thank you.